Now, Minority Chief Whip Muntaka Mubarak Mohammed says the actions of some government officials makes it easy for Ghanaians to believe the perception that the executive arm of government is currently influencing the judiciary. In an interview with my colleague Evelyn Tengma, he says the tweet by Gabi Asarachi Dakon that a by-election is looming in April in the Asin North constituency is worrying as it erodes the confidence of the democracy. The perception that turns to reality is that they try to say this will happen and then you go to court and it happens. It makes it extremely difficult for the ordinary person not to believe the rumor that they are controlling and influencing the judiciary. It is from their own actions. Because you know this matter is not exhaustive. The person is exhausting the legal process. And you know that it is not over. And you are already saying this. And you know that on 29 they are going to court. And then, may God forbid, if they go to 20, court on 29 and something drastic happen, how will you not link this to? And how will you link it? That they know what they have had the discussion they've had with maybe the judges and the, the assurances that they've gotten from the judges, and that is why you have the outcome that you're having. It erodes the confidence in our democracy. And obviously, it can also take away the continual belief or alleged involvement of the government in a lot of things that is happening. Because if you're not a member of the government, yet you virtually turn yourself into a prime minister and you speak so definite and emphatic. It leaves everybody's mind clearer. Oh, you are in bed with the judiciary. He says he does not see a by-election looming as the NDC is exhausting all the legal processes in the case of the Asin North NP. It is not over. Even today, I know that the lawyers of Asin North have farm, so you continue to be a member of parliament whilst the process is being uh, challenged. That is what democracy provides us. And let us know or be in a hurry or try to influence one thing or the other in, uh, for, for or against. Just allow the process to go. Well, there's no side in this house who is not concerned about losing a member. Even when we're 106, that you could say that our numbers are virtually almost not really potent to do anything, right? We we're concerned about losing a member, whether through ill health or through whatever means. I believe that is the same on both sides. Obviously, when the time when it happens, you prepare yourself for the battle ahead. Oh, we are concerned about the increasing cost of living, isn't it? As 